Hey guys, today I will show you some workarounds for creating wavy wobbly lines. There is no a dedicated tool right now in Affinity 2.2, but we can use a round corner tool and nodes to create a wavy line ourselves. So let me show you how. As you can see here, I create a wavy line, a vertical one and horizontal one. I create a wavy circle and wavy rectangle as well. So that's all possible. Let's try the simple thing. So I'm grabbing my pen tool and make a straight line. If you want to be sure it's straight, hold shift. All right, here it is, a straight line. To make it wavy, I simply need to add additional nodes on that line. The good news is you don't need to be precise at all. I just clicking to add more nodes. No precision required on that step. Why? Because now we can select all of those nodes and use alignment. And the last option here, as you can see, is uh, spacing. So we will have equal space between those nodes automatically, just like that. And now, while holding shift, we must select every second node. I'm holding shift and I'm selecting every second one. Now, again, I'll press shift and maybe arrow down. And we got this a nice wavy line, but it's very sharp one. If you don't want this to be sharp, simply grab a corner tool and round those corners as much as you want. If you want to be sure that the shape will remain the same when you scale it, rotate it, bake it, you can just click the bake appearance at the top and now it's a regular line without any round corner effects apply. So that's why we way of doing that for the straight lines. What if you need a wobbly circle? Huh? Actually, don't draw the circle. Just teasing you. You're going to use a star shape. Make a star, but add multiple points on it. So maybe 18, 22, something like that. Move it all the way up, dragging those orange points. And you probably can guess what I'm going to do next. I will use my round corner tool to make this way a bit rounded. And here it is, wobbly circle, very quickly, right? Using the star tool. A bit bigger challenge will be a rectangle. I got this question recently in the comments. How to make the rectangle? So in that case, we're going to use the same trick that with the line, but we need to do it on each side of the rectangle. Huh? So let's convert this to curves, add nodes, and this time I actually recommend you to count how many did you add, so. So I add 10 nodes here. And I'm going to add 10 below. And the same thing here. And just one left. All right, and now we're going to select each side of the rectangle of the square and then adjust the spacing. Keep in mind now we need to align vertically. And then horizontally again. And vertically again here. And now we can simply dislocate them. We can do it in pairs. So we can select like that top and bottom and then holding shift. We can do a selection just like that. And then on this side, I need to move all of that stuff. Okay, still holding shift and maybe arrow up. Nice. Now, for this one, 
I will start from the second one. And on this side as well. Still holding shift, this way I can select so many objects same time and then shift and arrow left. And we got some kind of wobbly broken rectangle. If you want to make it nicer and softer, simply use round corner tools. And this way we can get this broken, wobbly, wavy, rectangular shape. All right, so that's the workaround I got for you today. Add additional nodes using your node tool. Then move them up or down. And to make it a bit softer, finish up with the round corner tool, this one over here. This way you can make a wobbly line, a wavy line, without a hassle. Of course, I understand that the dedicated tool will be great. And I hope they will add this in the future updates. But for now, we need to work with some workarounds like this one. If you got your own workaround, you can share with us in the comment section below. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. And sometimes they are so good. I need to add them into some kind of hidden tricks and tips list. So if you got really good work around for wavy lines, feel free to share that and I will see you in the next video. Bye.